People always do have some weird habits. Well, in my case, I have a special complex with wall decoration. Sticking things on a flat. Building tiny platform for things don't hang. Putting some tape here. Doodling there. I put everything about me on walls. The wall in the corridor used to be my favorite canvas, which finally transferred to a printer garden growing bizarre flowers. I went on rampage in the place for quite a while until my mother finally couldn't put up with me anymore and tossed me over to art education. My family moved up I got into primary school. I got a new room and new wall, of course. The first collection was a trophy which I won at an art competition. Going on, there are some pieces of bike tires that bring the fact that I learned to ride bicycle when I was eight. The best of all know was my red scarf. Being a top tier for the candidate of Vanguard and putting the scarf on was one of the biggest moments in my life. I've always been a little bit different from other kids. Well, I hold a firm belief that I'm from Mars. The Mars, man! For telling that, I was happily laughed at. Exactly at that time, I learned the importance of keeping my secrets hidden. To keep my bigger secret from daylight, I cut my hair short and became a boy. Junior high is the most boyish and awkward period in my whole 17 years life. The schoolwork grew much heavier, leaving me no time for competitions. So I quit. I tried hard to fit in. But my boyish appearance barely let me stay out of trouble. I had conflicts with teachers, and I was teased by both boys and girls. I did have several friends. After my super exposed, all of them turned their backs on me. Loneliness, emptiness, feeling lost and worthless all came out of blue. I found refuge among tens of pigments. Painting was my healing. I created monsters as incarnation of my own soul. Those paintings, all signed with LOOK INSIDE, were delivered to the friends attempting to reconciliate. However, they all came back with even worse teasing. Painting was all that's left for me. And gladly, I clenched on it as tight as I could. Determined to start a new phase in my life and to be my real self, I grew my hair back. Musicals played a big part in my life back then. Sick of trying to fit in, I built my own community. I joined the school musical club. The performance and the recruitment ceremony was a huge success, which got us 16 more members. Finally, I'm not fighting alone. Musicals also led me to someone special. However, Everything ends before you do stars. I painted a lot as I always did. I created worlds in which I longed to be. I created characters on whom I cast in my best wish. I was praised. I was lost. And finally, found. Time unveils the true figures that I am. I spent my 17 year life looking for my identity everywhere. Blinded and confused. Here she is, and here she always has been. I'm a masterpiece. When time joins all the scattered pieces together, I can finally see. Wolves have been and always shall be keeping track of my life. Now, standing in front of a brand new one. What awaits me there?